Osteoarthritis of the spine is the breakdown of cartilage of joints and discs in the neck and the lower back. The lumbar spine is a common site for osteoarthritis due to its weight-bearing role. Consequently, the facet joints and discs have an increased tendency to degenerative wear. You can see here the comparison between a normal spine and the osteoarthritic spine. You can see in the osteoarthritic spine there is degeneration of the intervertebral disc and also bone spurs or osteophytes which are characteristic of osteoarthritis. So who gets osteoarthritis of the spine? Well, characteristically, it occurs in older people. However, it is possible to occur in younger people. And this can be a result of trauma or a patient being overweight. And it can also occur more frequently in people who undertake activities that put repetitive stress on the spine itself. Symptoms include pain in the neck or the lower back. Weakness and numbness may also occur in the legs or arms if there is spinal cord involvement and usually the back discomfort can be relieved by a person lying down. In general, osteoarthritis should be suspected if the patient is elderly, has activity related joint pain, so mechanical joint pain, and also has no morning stiffness which is more characteristic of a rheumatological cause. It is also important to note that some people can have little interference with activities of general daily life, whereas some can become really severely disabled. So these physical effects on a person can also have a social and emotional impact on a person's life. X-rays should be carried out in order to assess if there is osteoarthritis of the spine. And here you're looking for things like bone spurs, loss of cartilage or disc. However, the x-rays may not be able to show early damage of a cartilage. Blood tests should also be done to exclude other diseases. And MRI scans are able to show possible damage to discs or narrowing areas where spinal nerves exit. You can see that in this MRI scan shown here, where there is evidence of osteophytes, and also degenerative changes to the intervertebral discs themselves. Management of osteoarthritis of the spine starts with lifestyle changes and these can include ex exercises such as local muscle strengthening and also improving your general aerobic fitness can help. Weight loss would also be beneficial in overweight patients and also pain medication can be used for osteoarthritis including NSAIDs, topical or oral, and paracetamol, perhaps injections of corticosteroids around the spinal column can relieve moderate to severe pain in people with osteoarthritis. Usually osteoarthritis of the spine is treated without surgery but this can sometimes be performed. For example if the osteoarthritis causes stenosis of the spine and narrowing of the spinal canal and in these cases uh, things like bladder dysfunction or neurovascular damage may occur, so surgery is essential. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.